today's video, we'll learn how to use the Luma keyer in Final Cut Pro to key out and replace the overcast sky in our clip. Hey guys, what's up? This is Serge and welcome back to my channel for another Final Cut Pro tutorial. If you would like to follow along with this tutorial, the video I used was downloaded from Pixabay and the still image was downloaded from Unsplash. Both links will be included in the video description. So let's jump into our timeline and take a look at our clip. What we're going to do here is replace the overcast sky with a nice blue sky, maybe with a few fluffy clouds in it. First thing we need to do is duplicate our clip. Hold down the option key and drag up on the clip to make a copy. Select the top clip and press V to disable it for now. Next, open the effects browser and scroll down and select the key in category. Click and drag the Luma key over your bottom clip. Now in the inspector, in the view category, select the middle icon for matte view. In this view, everything that's black will be completely transparent. Everything that's white is opaque. All the gray in the middle will be semi-transparent. Now this next step will depend on your clip you're using. What we need to do is adjust the luma sliders to make the sky completely black and the lake and the trees completely white, or at least as close as possible. Play around with the sliders until it's as close as you can get. In the demo clip I'm using, the sky and the lake have similar luma values, so it's very hard to separate them, but there's a couple more things we can do. For now, let's focus on making the sky completely black. Next, let's take care of the semi-transparent parts in the trees that show up as gray in the viewer. Click on the disclosure triangle beside math tools and use the fill hole slider to make the trees at the edge appear as white as you can without losing too much definition around the edges. I find for this clip, a value somewhere between 7 and 8 seems to be the sweet spot. Now let's go back to the composite view and re-enable the top clip. In the effects browser, select the masks category and drag and drop the shape mask over the top clip. Adjust the shape and the position of the mask over the lake to mask out the sky in this clip. You want the outer red frame of the mask just under the treetops. And finally, select the replacement sky picture from the clip in the browser and drag it down into your timeline, placing it under both video clips. Use the transform tool to adjust the size and position of your new sky to match your video clip. What I did in the example at the start of this video is I keyframed the size of the background picture to increase slightly in size to give the illusion of the cloud slowly moving. Let's take a look at our clip before and after. Now this method will really depend on your original clip so your results may be very hit or miss. It helps to start out with a lot of contrast between your sky and your foreground, but like I demonstrated in this clip, there is a few tools you can use to compensate for less than perfect clips. Try it out and let me know what you think. As always, likes and shares are greatly appreciated, and if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe to my channel. New videos released weekly. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you back here next week.